fast part here. This one. So this one. Well, listen to this. Yeah. That sounded good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time and attention. This is a recap of composing in 2662 part 10, moving forward. Today we had plans to work on timbre, direction, and beat. We had an impromptu request. We ended up actually doing some timbre exploration, some impromptu beat exploration. And big thing is we moved ourselves up to 22 lines with 11 parts in the in the composition. So the interesting request was out of nowhere, could you do a beat for a rapper? And our answer was not very quickly. However, we found some things we'd already explored in our last series, composing a ballad, and played this for them. And we also pointed them to maybe looking for drum bit, where there's a lot of pre-made things or you can make your own. So we'd like to thank viewer Lowe, L-O-E, for their request. So what we did with timbre is this is what the first few lines sound like in our uh, composition in pure piano. And we ended up experimenting with piano, French horn, and timpani. And so we're going to play all of uh, what are now called parts one, two, and three with uh, these new timbres. So we thought that sounded awfully cool. And the things that we particularly noted is that uh, when we used oboes to play the uh, bass chords, um, three oboes at once is very loud compared to a piano chord. And the reason is the piano chords are coming in one hit booing for a dotted whole note. But if you oboes can continuously play that dotted whole note and they, they they're loud and they compete so we ended up changing the rhythm here the oboe bass chord re-rhythmed re for oboe so that it would however we elected to keep the dotted whole notes here but we brought it down to mezzo piano because they and the French horn did okay together, and that timpani is kind of in the background. Now, timpani was never meant to play all the notes that are shown here, and that's why it's in red. Uh, but what the timpani is kind of emulating for us is a tick-tock sound, and we especially like that uh, here. And since one of our images is this pulsing around it. Bling, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Um, we thought that fit pretty well. Now that's as many parts as we got around to changing the timbre on. And then we moved on to, so that was timbre here. 
So yeah, we got that. Check that off. We did our impromptu bead exploration with, with low. And then we did a lot of structure elaboration. And um, to show that, we need to show our updated line sequence model. We've gone all the way up from 15 to 22 lines. And we started tracking. Uh, here's piano, oboe, timpani, French horn. So now we're tracking where we've changed the timbres and the volume. It's like where we oboe went down to mezzo piano there, etc. Um, however, as you can see, we have done no timbres and volumes yet for the rest of the composition. What we did do was go through and kind of shuffle pieces around. This was the original source material that we had written. We had the first six lines. We had five root changes, four mode changes. And, uh, and then we kind of basically shuffled the deck <laughs> based on what sounded good. And, and if you track our mode, we're starting in C. C full mode, minor, C full, C major, C full, C minor. Now we're moving up from a C to a D and repeating C to a D. Then we're staying in the D and we actually, uh, hmm. oh, we didn't want to do that. We move, we, we, tr uh, we transpose this to D should say in D, but we, it does on the score. Anyway, so now we're in D. So by the end, by the time we get to part four, we're suddenly left at D. Then we have this big pause and we decide that every part is separated by an extra bar. And suddenly we're in G flat coming back to D and then D to C. Then here we're going C, D, back to G flat. So that was interesting. It sounds interesting. We're going to listen to it in a minute. Then we stay in G flat and come down to D stick around in D, then we pause, and all of a sudden we're in C again, then we're going D to C, kind of reminding ourselves. It's kind of like jumping out and then coming back, and then C, D to C, and then we like that surprise ending. This is the way we ended before, D to G flat. So let us listen. The other thing we did is we took all these, I mean, this was labeled timbre variations, because that's that's where we did them all. Uh, but then we took the time and trouble to copy everything we added, put over here in the, in the original uh, Pulse Story model. And this one has no timbre changes. So if we change our mind about the French horns and the oboes and all that, we can always just come back to here. So we'll just go ahead and put timbre over here on the left out of the way and we're going to now focus we're going to listen to all 22 lines of Paul's story model with the new structure and it goes like this
So we actually quite like that, and listening to it again, we can almost, towards the end, we had this new image of a cat coming in and trying to find a place to settle down, settle down, getting up, uh, that's not quite right, walking around a little bit, trying a little other place. So that's one image. The other thing is, it's as if we are contemplating making a major new change and we're not sure if we really want to do it or not. And so there's a lot of this hesitation up in here, back and forth, you know, trying to settle, trying to look at, trying to go withdraw, kind of back and forth, back and forth. And then we kind of all of a sudden down here where it accumulates this area, we accumulate the energy and by God, we just lock in. So that's where we're getting the energy. And then finally, 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 finally. Bam. That's our new home. So this is, uh, if we drew the picture, it'd be like starting, however you can see this here, boom, something like that. Anyway, we like it a lot. So where we go next with this, oh my gosh. Um, I could, we could hear ideas, we could hear ideas to put a little more uh, ornamentation. That was one of the things we spent a lot of time on today. Uh, the, the, the idea of moving forward as we, we went back and reviewed a lot of the composing diagrams we had worked with in the last series of composing and um, kind of tried to list everything, all the techniques that are at our disposal here. And ornamentation certainly stands out, you know, further ornamentation of some of these melodies that are very simplistic half notes at the moment, uh, but you could have a little flittering running passing notes above and below them in certain areas, give it a little more speed in there. And then when we get around to, uh, you know, further, well, that's the same street way to go to here. Uh, after we kind of, we, I guess we have to decide if we're going to go ahead and, and change all the timbres as well. <laughs> uh, might change our mind once the timbre is in there. So we'll find out. So thank you. Look forward to seeing you in the next stream. And as always, and thanks, Lo, again for your suggestions. Always keep on streaming.